You're still watching Waze. National Cashew Day is celebrated annually on November 23rd. It is a day to celebrate this delicious, versatile nut, which is enjoyed by people all over the world. Cashews are a good source of protein, fiber, and vitamins and minerals, including magnesium, copper, and vitamin B6. They're also a good source of antioxidants, which can help to protect the body from damage caused by free radicals. Who is a cashew lover? Yeah. Mm. It's me, not so. Is recently I started taking granite, so mm. anything that is nutty. Mm. Yeah, they're not. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of nuts. I I, I think that I'm not I used to avoid peanuts when I was younger because of my Acne. skin. Yeah. But now. I, I mean, guess. peanuts is like my go-to superfood. <laughs> yeah. I think I probably go through a bottle maybe like every week or so. Um, just because, yes, thankfully, the skin is a bit better now. It's calmer. <laughs> um, but, I mean, they just offer so many benefits. And particularly, mm. like for me, I'm trying to keep my cholesterol in check. Mm. So the good fats in the nuts yeah. help to yeah. reduce it. But, yeah. I mean, I, I love cashews. I think the problem I have with cashews i i don't think that the ones that i eat the the ones the local ones mm -hmm. and the cashew fruit actually is delicious i love the fruit yes. itself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i think is it the seed that is acidic or is the fruit the fruit is acidic the, yes yes the juice touches like yes the skin exactly the that's it that's the fruit but the nut itself i don't somehow we've not figured out how to roast the nut quite right for me, Do you want to try here. DIY? Maybe. Yeah, I, f I find that. If you, so if you think about it, when you buy the imported ones, yeah. it's always it's nice and drier. dry and all of that. So yeah. I think there's maybe something in the way we're roasting it locally that is not quite I mean, working. But I still eat it too. Uh, but I still yeah, eat but it. I, I have tried the ones from um, like Kotonu. Mm -hmm. There's a way that they roast it. There's a way that they roast it is really nice. The technique crunchy. must like, be different. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. probably something that they use some mm. in ingredient that they... I know, you know but I mean, so cashews yeah. are just... Yeah, cashews yeah, like, like all nuts. I think right now for me, cashew is more than... In peanuts, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, all nuts for me is just, I just, they, they, you know when you read all the articles, they say, just eat a handful. Yes. Yeah. They just were not talking you know, to me. You're done, done with half of the box. <laughs> so I, I've been taking granuts of late, and then mm. what I've been doing is, you know when you eat granite and banana, the taste, the combination is always, mm. then I started noticing that, it's, I started having like acne here and there. Mm, yeah. So what I now decided to do is, I started battling it with the ginger shots remedy. So I eat the granite as I like, <laughs> then I now have like the ginger shots that I've Ginger blended. shot does what now? So ginger shot, they basically like does like antioxidant. Yes, yeah. so it cleanses your system yeah. from the inside out. So what I do is I blend um, ginger, turmeric, um, cinnamon, garlic, um, black pepper, um, black okay, seed, that's, that's, and clove. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, all of that. And I, when I wake up in the morning after brushing so my teeth. So do you steep it in water or you just drink it? I just take a shot. Just take a shot of it. Every day. Uh, so let me... So. I have mixture is quite it's a lot. That's it's a extreme. Lot. Yeah. It's, it's more than the, <laughs> more than the usual. <laughs> I'm glowing. So, let, I can give you a Yes, you are. So mm. I do the same thing, mm -hmm. but it's already made. Uh, right. so, ginger, so they sell the ginger Okay, so shorts. I think I've seen those ginger shots. Yeah, yeah. So they sell, I'm the, they sell the small bustles and then the bigger mm. ones that you can put. Yeah, well, I'm... Because turmeric on its own is yeah. colorful. So yeah. if they make it for you, you wouldn't really know how rich it is. So I would rather do my blend in my kitchen. So you blend with the fresh turmeric, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 It. it colors everything. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm yeah. happy to hear that we're all keeping healthy yes. in our own ways. Yeah. But you see, you, you stop eating. Your, your granite stops at, um, what's it called? You stop at banana, right? I eat granites with watermelon. <laughs> Not even bread. I eat it with watermelon. I eat it with um I eat it watermelon. I eat it with apple. I eat it with cucumber. Cucumber, yeah. Um like literally yeah. every food possible. Yeah. Yeah. I have it I with agree. it, like I it just works. And then I have it with plantain oh, yeah, as well, that's obviously. True. I think the evil people mm. food, I can't I'm remember I'm trying to remember the name. Um <laughs> the blend the nuts blend that they eat with um yeah. garden egg. Oh yes, of yeah, course. That's been yeah, that's been us as well. Okay. Cool, okay. cool. So happy cashew day to all the <laughs> cashew lovers um, out there. Uh, what did you find first? Let me start with you, NJ. Okay. So um, a lot of things have been happening in the news lately. And uh, my story tonight is um, something that uh, Tosin um, Silver 
um, Tosni Silver Dam okay. wrote on his Instagram page and right. on social media. He posted it on social media, and I quote: "Police should arrest Jay Boogie and his friend Kim for scamming Nigerians. Jay Boogie does not does not need a kidney transplant. The GoFundMe account has been flagged. They have refused." to provide test results from the hospital. They have blocked all the people soliciting funds for them, even the LGBT community. So many organizations want to sponsor them, but they, are, they were reluctant because they are a scam. They even altered um, fake results. So um, this story- Give us a backstory to it so because I've lost. <laughs> so Jay Boogie is a transgender, living in nigeria oh, wow. and has been very quite popular on social media just like um Bob. you know bob Risky Bob Risky. yes and, yes um, james, james brown, brown. Mm -hmm. so there are others but you know this story is centered around jay boogie so i i hear that he had some um he has done some he has undergone some procedures and mm -hmm. at this point he wanted to do something corrective okay and then went into the hospital and um came out with a bad case of, I don't know what it's called, because okay. I don't, medically, I don't know what right, it's called. Right, okay, I see. But it affected his kidney, right. and something about him not being able to pee, uh, pass mm -hmm. urine for a couple of days, and you know, so many videos have been coming up on social media. One of him actually having a conversation with some people telling them, you know, his life was in danger, and that um, he was gonna shut down any moment, and you know, soliciting for funds mm -hmm. and over the course, uh, course of the week a lot of people um social media you know personalities and what have you have come up out on social media to solicit for funds you know mm -hmm. and for prayers for jay boogie and sometime um maybe earlier in the week or so mm -hmm. um something like this comes out there are speculations that uh, the gofundme account had raised i think over two hundred uh, 200 million and um there was a story that the story now coming up is that all that was a scam to raise money wow so um okay so i'm not i don't i i, I don't think this is quite surprising mm -hmm. because in the news lately a lot of things have been happening a lot mm -hmm. of people who are supposedly dead and rip are coming back to life and then a lot of people who you know and it's are using it as a needed. method as a strategy wow. to mm. you know in, improve, get more popular improve their you know music career yeah. and you know foster I, I i don't know how low it's coming all it, it tallies mm. all around mm. with everything that mm. we're saying because um i you know recently we've been talking about where the mindset is right mm. now and how low people will go to be popular be famous and all these things are just showing you that really, like you said, is the end times. Because yeah. really, it's just amazing how low people would go. You tell, you you claim, some that's, people are that's claiming. That's what it is. People just claim all sorts. And of now you claim, you put money. out videos, and now companies are trying to sponsor you they and help think you it out. Through, they? That's, that's, <laughs> how, that's how it works. That is always how you so get caught. Well, 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 well. It's a pity because really... This, this is the reason why some people don't even help. People don't want to help, yeah. No, but and that's also, the on the other hand, 200 million Nigerians? No, it's easily done. And when Davido said he needed, they should do, was it birthday or whatever? <sighs> How much would it have turned up? No, that's one is. Well, a lot of people, small money, don't joke with retail. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, <laughs> but good luck to them. And then, what did you find first? The integrity part, like, it's like nobody has morals anymore, everybody just does what they Everybody wants to blue, yeah. It's crazy. What did you find well, first? Well, for me, it's <clears throat> kind of going to pick piggy. Show themselves and they showed us what they can do. Do you understand? I, I am devastated, I am heartbroken that this was a scam. I still can't believe it all. Like, when I lie down, I'm like. God, please, let this be a joke. Let me just wake up one day and they'll tell me, oh, the reason why they, they cut people off was because of something. Not like they scammed us. Because a lot of people show for And when we found out that this was Hi. when people, when organizations started reaching out to say they wanted to clear the hospital bills and they needed proof so they can clear hospital bills. Like, it was so good that we had people, organizations reach out, they wanted to take Jay out of Nigeria, like, you know, to seek asylum or something and get permanent residence. Like, 
Jay's life would have been so perfect if this was all true. And the next... You can hear the pain um, in that. So like we said, good luck to them. Alera, let's move over to your story. Um, so for my story today, uh, WHO asked China for more data on respiratory illness breakouts. Um, so the World Health Organization has asked China for more data on respiratory illnesses spread in the northern part of the country. But Beijing has refused to um, give a public comment around this. And it's been, it's been really crazy that, you know, <laughs> same China, <laughs> same China back in 2019, actually, you know, where the, where the beginning of the whole COVID-19, and now there's an influenza-like illness that is spreading in China. And WHO is actually asking them to provide more data so that they can like prepare the world for this outbreak that they claim is happening. As far as I'm concerned, I'm still going to move back to taking health into your own hands. And we know that the body can heal itself. So the earlier you start taking things that will make you strong enough, the better for you. Because all of these things come in right, right left, and center. It's just scary. It's though, very because, scary. In fact, scary. when I saw this story, I thought to myself, wow. What next? Like, what, what again? Again, all I just was like, again. What should yeah. we do? Like, how but, can it well, it's, again, so many, it's, it's an unfolding story. So let's, let's yeah. see where it goes and hope and pray that it doesn't turn into something more serious. Yeah. Um, my own story, I'll very quickly touch on it. The headline says, Lagos loses 4 trillion naira annually to traffic congestion. Of course, this is no surprise. We all live in Lagos. We know um, how bad traffic can be. Money. This was coming out of a recent study done by the Danny Institute for Research. Um, that was looking at the impact and the behavioral causes of traffic congestion in Lagos. It's no story. 21 million people living in Lagos, and traffic is a huge burden, it's a huge problem. Um, what really stood out for me in the story it says the report highlights that Lagosians spend an average of 2.21 hours commuting daily, with 45% spending more than two hours. I mean, two hours is even, if you do two hours, you're good, right? It can, it can easily be four or five, you know, it's, it's depending on what's happening on the road. Now, but now that, sorry, now mm -hmm. that the Todd Milan Bridge is even closed, it's even the worst. Because this happened like how many years ago? Mm. Same thing, for six, you're going to close the bridge for six months. Mm. So yeah. now everyone is passing through Ikorodu Road crossing. Yeah. It's, it's, like yeah. it's horrid. Well, is it fully closed? I don't think the bridge itself is fully closed. I um, think the ramps... So I know the Adekule exits and Yaba yes, yeah, are closed, yes. but yeah, and the bridge fact, itself is still. Ramp. Yeah, the ramp, so they started off with the ramp so you have to go in through. outwards from VI, oh, okay. um, just going towards the mainland, but they've now also closed it on the other side for five weeks or, or thereabouts. Um, but yeah, so the, I mean, it's just the impact of it, and we, we all know we all suffer traffic, we all suffer um, the debilitating. It's just interesting when you then see someone actually put an actual yeah a number to the cost of that traffic. But um, let's take a quick break and we'll jump into the topic when we get back. Please stay with us.